Good evening, good evening. I think we are good to go. Sorry about the few minute delay there. I've got a few things that just popped up at the last possible second. I don't know how everybody else's schedules are, but mine is really busy and all over the place lately. We've got a lot going on. Um, I'm not going to guarantee any more live shows for just a little while after this. Um, I may do an update or two on Patreon and for the membership just because that's what I promised. Um, just because everything going on, we are, you know, boxing, binning, and numbering, and getting rid of stuff, and all sorts of different things with a big move coming on. Um, topic's going to be discussed in just a second. I just wanted to throw that out there first thing. Um, I didn't get a chance to do one last week. We did close on the property and house last week. We are still um, waiting for the past owner now, because it's technically ours. I have title in hand in the whole works to remove some of his property. We've given them extra permission to secure this deal. So he, it was something that can't just be yanked out of there. In my inner groups, I'll, I'll show you the best I can of what was in that building. And um, I think there'll be some really surprised, shocked people. Um, I wish I could spit it out, but I've basically signed something stating I won't get into any details. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> Today's topic, we're going to revisit the um, wrong charges from last week. Because so I've had a lot of people reach out, what happened with that, what this, what that. I was honestly going to do a video, attention eBay or hey eBay, try to get their attention. But I reached out, I emailed, I talked to a eBay executive, I've, somebody I've talked to in the past. Mixed results in the past, I wasn't expecting much, but... Um, I talked to a supervisor at eBay who told me I, I don't understand my own bills and she's right because she's a supervisor. The whole time, mind you, she was wrong because I literally knew exactly what I was talking about. Had she looked at what I asked her to, all this may have been easily solved. The bottom line is, did I get ripped off or didn't I get ripped off? I don't know. I, I honestly can't say 100% whether eBay rips us off for $800 or not. There's no way that I can see that I can tell what was pending on my account after all these charges were erroneously added to it and then collected collected um, from my bank. There's no way I can tell what was pending at that point from any of the reports that I've seen. eBay's been running reports on my accounts. They haven't even told me. This stuff just keeps popping up ever since this, this started. I've asked to have it investigated. I've asked to get a total of what was pending prior to that first wrong charge being posted on my account. For those who don't know, if in certain categories, Gallery Plus views are free. They have been that way for years, but instead of them being free this last route about, a bunch of people were charged for them. Now, I know people said, well, hey, you only had 800 and stuff like this. Well, this is a totally different story than 99% of every other YouTuber or anybody else I've heard talk about. They just had charges on their account. I had, we had over $1,000 in charges on our account. But not only did we have charges, the other folks from what I, I've tried to get some, somebody else to have the same issue as us. I can't find anybody, even though people said they were. We actually had the money taken out. They literally pulled the money out, processed it, took it from an account. It escalated from it coming out of one account because it was an account we usually leave $1,000 in. It was our PayPal account. That's connected up for backup funding to my, to my bank account. So it hit my bank account at the same point. Again, it, it's, a, it's a, a, a crossover account, basically, because we get paid from several different platforms into PayPal still these days. So when those two cascaded down through our account, it canceled purchases we made on Amazon for products that we were buying for our business, boxes specifically. So it, it did some damage. At the end of the day, no one seemed to think it was a big deal, including the eBay executive I talked to. Oh, it'll it'll be back in your account. You'll have the money back on the 21st. That was just my weekly payment back. No one has explained it. No one has been able to produce proof of what was there prior to this. For all I know, the, the charge coming out of my account was a glitch too because I can't find anybody else who had the same issue. Everybody else I see talking about it or people point to, hey, well, they had the same thing. They hadn't had the money actually taken out of their account. They only had the charges. Charges aren't anything until they actually pull the money. They pulled over 790 
individual uh, gallery pluses were charged to my banking system, my personal stuff, and they took the money. A at this point, I had no use of that. I know you can set it up and give them your debit card to get immediate payment, but I'm not going to trust them with my debit card after they just stole 800 bucks from me. So I didn't use that option. And on top of that, they didn't even know what was going on. I talked to five different people on the phone. Two of them, well, everybody told me they were going to call me back. Only one person called me back. The, the last person actually listened to me and agreed that I was correct on on the the credit card charge against me being all gallery plus again the supervisor said no 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 you're totally wrong i'm a supervisor i know what's going on you don't know what you're talking about none of those charges on your charge card that we took that 790 dollars for had anything to do whatsoever with gallery plus totally wrong she was wrong from the start i was looking at it while she was telling me i didn't know what i was talking about Again, this is the, the thing you get from eBay. I even reiterated, everybody's told me something different. No one can explain it. There's no report that will give you your 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 uh, processing totals prior to it. So, again, I have no way to know if it's not a couple of glitches or anything else. eBay won't take the time. I can't go in like, if I wanted to go to my bank, I can just have them break down time, every single minute of the day, what was pending and all this other stuff. It's, it's pretty easy. It might take them a day or so. I gave eBay more than that. It's now hitting the week mark. And now for me, why was that very upsetting? Because we just we did a wire transfer the next day for, for tens of thousands of dollars for our down payment on the house. And if eBay hit us for 30 some odd thousand dollars worth of charges on it and just took it out of my bank, it would have caused some issues with that. You know, we were told not to run any big charges and do this or do that until it goes through. So there's no, you know, issues and all that. So I was very irate with it, you know, and the fact that they they were nobody took it seriously, in my opinion. I, I couldn't afford to get hit for eight hundred dollars. It's not going to kill my business. It, it's something we can make up in a day if I list a couple extra items or something. So I'm not going to be desolate. But I had people calling me that were crying because eBay told them it was their fault. They they text or went through the eBay for business on, on Facebook. They called and when it first happened, they were telling everybody it was their fault. So they're panicking. People were panicking over this. I know to somebody this may not seem like a bigger deal, but when when eBay's telling you you might owe, you know, five grand for something, ten thousand dollars for something because you did something wrong, they're not so great to help you if it's like some something like that. When I reached out to the eBay exec, he said, well, they probably didn't know what the situation was when you contacted them, and they didn't know it was a glitch at the time. Well, I already expressed that in the email, and on top of that, this was at the end of the day. I was gone. We were taking care of some business, and we had some shelving. I got stuff in storage here and there, and we were trying to figure out and make a list. Uh, anyway, I was gone till 3, so it already long since been you know, out there. Of course, eBay never posted. Never said a word to anybody about this. Let me just spit this out before everybody's saying, well, he's not telling you, Do we, can you trust eBay? I personally used to trust eBay until this happened. I'll never trust them again. I'm going to do anything in my power to stop them from being able to steal my money again. I just gave eBay a loan for multiple days. They got to use that $800 from my account for several days before the credit was issued back. The credit had to be processed, so... You know, best case scenario, the money could have been gone if you needed the money. If it was anybody else out there needed the money, you might not have had access to it for three days. Is that good? That Again, these are erroneous charges. I should have never been charged for this. On top of that, this this is all recorded. So if eBay is listening, I've asked to have that the conversation with the supervisor investigated because she lied to me, wouldn't listen, totally blew off what I was saying, and only listened to the person before her who transferred me. And we got into an argument on recording the phone call and all this other crap. Mind you, this call was when they called me. I didn't call them on this one. They called our house, picked it up. You know, it didn't go through that recorded message. You're going to re-record and all this other BS. So anyway... End of story, though, uh, it, it, it again, they, they didn't listen to me. They didn't, again, do anything. It was a, offensive, in my opinion, the way they were terminologizing things. Lady telling me we got to work as a team. 
I tried to express, well, a team listens to the other member of the team and you're not listening to me. I find it offensive you keep calling me a team with you guys. This is the real conversation. I'm not, I'm not adding in anything that didn't happen. Again, I can't play a recording of it or anything else like that. There's a two-party consent in California. I'm not going to get in trouble for doing that. I don't need to give any eBay any, any fuel to go after me. Again, I'm the only one I can find now that actually they've charged. If somebody else was charged, please leave a comment. I'd really like to hear from somebody else. It seems a little bit odd that it's just me, and I know they've had issues with me. And, you know, anyway, long story short, I, I don't have a... A uh, warm and cozy feeling. I don't feel like I'm part of any team. A team wouldn't have stole $800 from me and given me no way to get it back until they first admitted it and then processed it. It took, it took three, four phone calls to actually get them to give me the credit. My, my account was $1,100 in the hole, plus they took $800. So I don't know where I stand. I honestly and, and sincerely am not 100% sure eBay didn't rip me off for 800 almost bucks. I, I'm not 100% sure yet. And I've looked at the reports. Again, who knows? There could be several glitches. It wouldn't be odd to see a couple glitches on eBay. You know, the, 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 the screwed up part when I'm talking to the supervisor at eBay, she told me, well, it could have happened still last month and you missed them last month. I'm like, so you guys knew this was happening last month and you didn't tell anybody? You don't post an announcement that, hey, something happened, there was a glitch, hey, you might want to just check your bills, there's a chance that you have erroneous charges on there. Everybody else I know, every other platform on Amazon even posts things, hey, there was a glitch, uh, that's the kind of stuff I see, but I still couldn't see anything on eBay stating this even happened to anybody. Again, you trust eBay if you want. I used to promote it and say, hey, yeah, because I felt it was decent. Uh, um, again, this changed my thought on anything eBay would do with it. Again, you have no choice. You've got to give them in their information. I've had a lot of people, you know, I've even had a couple lawyers reach out to me. You know, I know I can't do class action. They've told me, my, you know, what can be done. I even looked into the state issues because there's some laws on reporting some of this aspect here in the state. It, it comes down to what type of financial institution this would be deemed eBay. Again, because they're holding money now. They have the ability to get, you know, um, um, interest on it, I would say, at this point. I know they say they don't, but I, again, they lied to me on every conversation. None of them could explain it. None of them could give me an honest answer for sure if they were even right. The supervisor contradicted the employees under her. The supervisor even said that she can't look at something that the two people I already talked to were under her could just look at in a second. So I don't believe anything she said. And again, the whole time she was telling me that the charges they put on my account had nothing to do with Gallery Plus, and I knew instantly she was just either ignoring what I asked her to look at or intentionally lying to me to say, hey, no, it's not on there. You're, you just don't know what you're talking about. The, the charges are 790 individual charges for a dollar, which comes to 790 bucks. It's not some errant charge of anything else other than that. The day before, I just had my payout. All my bills were paid. There wasn't anything I owed other than the sales that I had from that day. And I had pending money still prior to these charges. My math and their math don't add up. I can't prove it because there's no, again, no way. The, the processing fees, even if you blank it down onto a spreadsheet, there's thousands of extra charges on my account now because of all this fiasco. You can't technically sort them out by fees because some of them are credits. And anyway, it, it's a nuisance. There's nobody at eBay apparently that either cares or can explain or give me the simple to this thing that you could imagine, which is the pending processing amount of funds that I had prior to a charge. That's all I wanted to see to know if they were telling the truth. If I would have that total, I would at least be able to balance it against my numbers. So anyway, it, it, it's pathetic that it's come to this. I don't have this issue. And everybody says, well, you pick on eBay, you go after eBay. I, I never have these issues anywhere else, for crying out loud. If, if they only happen on one site, who's the problem? Who's the problem? The one site or all the other sites who the issues don't happen on. I've never had a... I've only been ripped off from, from BS like this three times in my life. Twice was on PayPal, and someone stole my charge card when it was used at a... Taco Bell or KFC Taco Bell. It's the only place I used that card. It was a new one. So I knew it couldn't have been, unless they stole it some other way digitally from, from the bank or something. That was 400. I was ripped off 400 a second time for another one in a Washington state charge from somebody else who stole the, the card number from God knows where. This is a second card. And then um, eBay. 
That's it. That's the only major internet frauds other than like uh, buyers on eBay ripping and trying to rip us off or a couple times we have got ripped off in the past. But the only three times in my life I've been ripped off, one of them was eBay. That's It's just terrible to say that they, they held the money. I had no use of money. I had no way to get interest on that or, or whatever the case may be. If I was a, a single parent and I needed the money for food or to pay a bill, oh well. You got to give us some more information after the credits process. The credits aren't immediately available on your account. They have to process, and that could take 24 to 48 hours is what they said. So even if they wanted to fix it, the only fix eBay had for billing my account, taking the money and keeping the money, was just to give me some credits, and then I can get the money back whenever it happens to get to me. That was my response. That, that's not the response we got from PayPal. When, when I'm, again, these are similar issues. eBay ripped us off personally, and then PayPal, somebody else ripped us off. But you know what PayPal did both times? Immediately, they gave us credit for that. So the $400 was the max limit that could be taken out in cash when that happened with PayPal. PayPal, within like two minutes of me being on the phone, I already had $400 covering that back in there. Huntington, my, my son had a charge once before, not too long ago. He bought a tent, and it turns out that the site was a scam, never got it. It was a $700 tent. Huntington immediately put the money as a provisional uh, a deposit to my son's account and took care of it. Never heard another word. The money was stayed in there. They closed off the case on our behalf, and we were done. You know, it was immediate. eBay... They have no way, apparently, to immediately give you credit and immediately backtrack the money. They could have canceled it the night before if they would have listened to me. I, I caught it, right, you know, that same day. They could have canceled the processing of that, but they never listened to me. They told me the whole time it's just charges on your account. It has nothing to do with the, 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 the charge card charge in your account. That's two separate issues. If they would have just, for crying out loud, listened to me from the start... As I explained it, this whole thing wouldn't have gotten into me despising the fact that eBay stole money from us, stole the use of. I, they, I gave them a free loan, interest-free loan for several days. If they did that to 10,000 people, they, they could have it enough to float their bills. Again, I'm not accusing them of doing that. That's, that's just a, a possibility. Who knows? Again, I, I don't trust them. I don't trust them. No one gave me any con concerned urgency. No one gave me any, hey, man, I know how tough that is. Somebody tried to say, well, I've got relatives who count in this for some of the revenue. I'm like, dude, you get a paycheck. You get a paycheck. If, if your boss just decided, well, we some of that money is ours, we're just going to take $800 of your paycheck and then you know, didn't apologize, you, you'll get it later. You'll get it next week. You know, That's two different things. They literally took cash from us took cash from us and it was on me to figure out what was going on the, the second guy i talked to told me well give me a number give me some numbers of these charges you're talking about i'm like there's over a thousand of them how am i going to know which ones i'm supposed to give you i don't have all day to do this so i had uh, they're asking me for proof again i've had a supervisor tell me it was already going on since the month before and on top of that this is like the second or third time probably the third or fourth time that these exact same type of charges were charged. I, I know for a fact that we got hit with these once or twice before. Once was for like $14 or $15, and that was the one that took three pay, uh, two, at least two, and if I'm not mistaken, three cycles to get the money back because it always was processing. It missed. It didn't go in. We had to call back. They'd get it on the next one and all that stuff. Just like the, the fact that they never call you back when they say they're going to. I talked to five, six... I've got six contacts, six times I've reached out. I got one phone call, was supposed to call me back. He did call me back. He was supposed to tell me the end result and give me what I was asking for. Couldn't tell me what was definitely going on. Couldn't tell me for sure there wasn't something else. I had another one who told me he did email or call. He did email, but again, no end result. It just said, hey, we're working on it. We'll get back to you. We'll do the right thing, blah, 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 blah. And that's it. And then I, I talked to the exec, and he sent me a, an email. Oh, no big deal. You'll get the money back on the 21st. I know it happened on the 14th or 15th, but it's no big deal that you got to wait a week while we hold your money. Again, that, that's the end result. I don't trust them with my money. I sure as heck wasn't going to give them my debit card number to try and get it back sooner. I didn't need the money. It was a principal issue with me. I really feel like I was robbed. I feel like I was. they're mobsters, and they, they forced me at gunpoint to give them 
you know, five spot on, you know, uh, an $800 loan or something. You know, that's that's literally how it feels when they don't get back with you, when they tell you this, this after that, after this, after that, and then nothing happens with it. No urgency, no nothing else. Again, I'm a bigger seller. I can afford that kind of thing to hit me. I could have afforded, even with the house issue and, and shelling out a deposit, it wouldn't have crushed us. You know, I, it, it, water under the bridge. If they would have handled it differently, I, I would have said, hey, I get it. But again, no one seemed to care. The supervisor telling me she can't look at stuff that every other employee under her can look at instantly. It was just, it was ridiculous. It was an insult to my intelligence, the conversation with the eBay supervisor. Again, from the minute I was on the conversation with her, her tell me the bill that they charged me and took the money for was not for gallery view, was the most infuriating thing I could see because I was looking at it while I was talking to her while she's telling me that's not what the charges are. I'm looking at it. Uh, it was just an insane call. It was to me. It was insulting to me. I even told her that's just, uh, uh, insulting. I even told the eBay exec after the fact that she was wrong and offensive. Nothing's going to happen. I, I, again, they'll just blame it on me like they blame it on the, the seller all the time whenever one of these issues happens. That's all I ever see. You know, I even brought that up. But again, who cares? They don't care. I even brought up the issue on, um, uh, since I had a supervisor, on the auctioneering license and all that stuff. Well, we don't do legal. That's all on you. You got It's all up to you. So they don't care about that aspect either. So anyway, that's about it on those topics. No sense in beating a dead horse. And that's what I told them too. I told eBay, there's no sense in beating a dead horse. You guys don't really seem to care. You don't take it sincerely or, or like it's an important issue that you took someone's money wrongly, denied them the use of that money, denied them an explanation and denied me a simple a number, a total of pending processing funds at a certain point. That's it. I didn't ask for much. I didn't ask for anything else I couldn't have got from any other financial institute of any kind, including PayPal. eBay is every bit as much a financial institution if PayPal is, because they do the same thing. So again, I, I'm, I'm, I'm done with, I hate, I hate calling eBay. I, I hate having to talk about them like that because I there's so much other aspects of business that I enjoy and and my frustrations every time is always eBay I I, I really despise that I'm forced to, to 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 bring these issues up because I think they they deserve being talked about uh, again I don't I don't trust eBay with my funds at all if your bank took eight hundred dollars from you and said they wouldn't give it back till next week or whatever unless you give us more personal information Geez, I don't know anybody who wouldn't switch banks. We're stuck. There, it, we make a decent amount of revenue from eBay. Good, bad, or indifferent. Am I going to leave it over this? Uh, no, I can't. Well, I, I shouldn't say I can't, but we just got a loan for a house, and I don't want to have any issues. I want to make sure we're going going smoothly. Um, again, I, I don't know if they rip me off or not, which is uh, it, I, it's sad. It, it's, it's sickeningly sad to say that the company that supposedly your team member uh, may have ripped you off or may not, if you don't know. And the way they handled it, oh my God. I, I've had a lot of people reach out personally, and I've had a lot of messages sent to me. Whenever something like this happens, um, usually I get a bunch of responses. I think YouTube is suppressing a lot of this stuff too, personally, after looking around, because uh, anyway. But uh, it, it's really bothersome. We're, we've got a lot of good things going on now. We're moving. We've got an eBay building that's over 2,000 square feet, and we've got a lot of stuff going on right now. And I'm just looking for, you know, the good stuff past this. You know, I'm not going to dwell on, on this aspect. We are looking into it. I did, did reach out to the state, as I said. I want to know if there's any legality that's been violated here on our personal behalf. Uh, again, I don't see that eBay can say anything about me doing that. I have a right to, to feel secure with who processes and holds my funds. We get paid out weekly. So, you know, they're holding money for a week of us, you know, and, and part of the reason, because I hate all the constant charges for, for shipping labels. It's a nuisance. It's just a nuisance. So that's why we pay on a weekly basis. I almost never have any crossovers where there's nothing or anything else like that. So, you know, you do it as you wish. My personal recommendation is totally different from what it was just over a week ago. I do not trust them, and I would do everything in my power to try and avoid giving eBay any personal information that I, I'm even remotely not required to do. Again, just because who knows? 
if if the person who you know you make them have money you you earn them money isn't willing to do the right thing with you and just give you a a, a darn basic breakdown on on the simpleton aspect of what was pending they don't care it's just all about money and none of the help desk had a clue all had different answers no one could again break it down again i'm going to stop talking about it because it's just so aggravating I should have checked to make sure you can hear everything, but I'm assuming that's the case. Uh, uh, let's see here. Hang on, let me pop back up here. I think my feed's all over the place here. Yeah, slam the thumbs up if you're enjoying the conversation. I know I'm terrible on saying that. Uh... Ten K is out today. Sixty four million to e commerce bytes. Is that true? I haven't seen that yet. Man, we've got so much going on in this end. I'm trying to organize inventory. We've got some videos as we move and we'll talk about stuff like that and how to organize and all that stuff too. Um we'll I'll talk about shelving. Um again, I'm we're we're not gonna be moving fully until I think he's got 30 days, I think 19 more days, I think is what he has before he has to have it out and he starts paying us and then he can be evicted, I guess. I don't know the whole process on that, but let me pop back up here. I know I'm missing something. Who do I trust more, Mass, uh, Marge, uh, YT? Who do I trust more, eBay or Amazon? Amazon any day of the week. No, hands up, hands down, no question about it. I would trust Amazon 100 times better than I would ever trust eBay. I, I've never I've never had a bad purchase that they didn't take care of. I've never had a bad sale that they didn't honor and, and back me up as long as everything was correct. Um, geez, the only thing that I can say is a couple uh, um, uh, things that I needed to have uh, paperwork for that I couldn't produce paperwork. It was items that in the past you didn't have to worry about. And they they locked us out on some used Nintendo games. Other than that, and, and it wasn't it wasn't Amazon specifically. I knew uh, Nintendo was doing it back then, but most people I know never got the authority back. Even though Nintendo kind of tried to say it was an, uh, another issue, but Amazon any day of the week, any day of the week, you know, I I, I honestly, if I'm going to buy something these days. Trust Amazon even with the buying aspect over eBay. And in some cases, I'll spend a few extra bucks to get it off Amazon because I never have to worry about the BS with returns. I drop it off, I get a receipt and all that kind of stuff too. And, and I feel more comfortable, honestly, with Amazon than, than eBay any day of the week. And all these, I, I've we've been on Amazon 10 or 11, 12, probably more than that years. And in all that time, I've never had them screw me over like eBay ever. I mean, I've never had an issue where they didn't, tr even, even if there was some differences in language or there was some gaps in understanding what I was trying to say versus what they were saying. It, it was always polite. There was never this, it's your fault. I, again, I've never been accused by Amazon of doing anything when I report an issue eBay, probably 85% of the time, that's your fault right off the bat. You as the seller. You did something wrong. eBay wouldn't do that. Oh, we'd, we'd take care of you to the end, you know. But, again, yeah, that's a perfect example. I waited a week to find out I just had to wait a week to get my money back that they wrongly took. You know, it's just, it's pathetic. It's wrong. And, uh, again, I, I, I asked for an apology. There's never going to be one. They'll never admit that if they make a mistake and take your money, it's going to take you days to get it back. You know, maybe if you already have the debit card thing set up, the processing may take only a day or so, but that's still going to be like two days. Your money's gone. You know, that's just not right. That That's just not right. The bank, my bank's never going to take money from me if it's not due or if somebody else didn't, you know, say, hey, he owes us money and it's going through the proper process. You know, that's not how banking's supposed to work. And eBay, as far as if they're a, a facilitator for payments and they're holding money, they're a, a where, money warehouse, basically. I mean, they're, they're, they're a storage facility, which is what a bank is. You know, I'm sure if, if at some point that's going to be pushed up to one of the courts and eBay may be deemed some kind of, of banking system or something, which they should if this is the kind of thing they can do to you, you know. Uh, let's see here. 
Hang on. I'm all over on my feet. I actually had to try to go back up and see where we're at. Yeah, today some I see a lot of people talking about the temperature. It was like 60. It's actually 66 outside right now. I've got one of those atomic clocks. If you ever want a clock for your business, get one of the atomic clocks, clocks off eBay or not eBay, Amazon for like 19.99 delivered. It's the best darn clock I've ever had in my life. It tells me the weather and everything. It's there's a bunch of printouts you can do. It's linked up with the atomic clock, whatever you want to call it. Best clock. I love that thing. I wish they had those built into your car car screen personally cuz I, I that's I go by that thing every day. I look at that more than I look at my phone time probably. In fact, when we the the new building, I'm going to get a second one so I can have one in, in a couple different areas. Um, let's see here. Again, my feed's all messed up. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to call everybody out. Hey, Auction Monkey, thank you, thank you, thank you very kindly for that $10 super chat. You can trust eBay with your money. That's why we have daily payouts. You know, I, again, I, I know the daily payouts. I Originally, I think they set you up on daily payouts. I didn't like it because it was constantly pulling money from an account, and then it's just going to have to be paid right back to the account when I get payouts. So it made no sense. So I figured, just take the money out. I pay it, and then I just get everything else. So all my fees, everything, shipping, everything's already done the minute I get the deposit. I never have to worry about money going back. I wanted less interactions between eBay and myself was the whole point of doing that. It's a lot easier. The simpler you can do your hookups with, with stuff like that, the easier you could see you know, if something happens. That's why the whole issue with eBay, the way it's all broken down, it's almost impossible. Money that I transfer out from eBay that posts to account, I can instantly tell what's going on, when it was posted, everything. I mean, I can click on any link and you, just go to your bank account. Everybody knows that. You can click on you know payment when it was exactly posted to the minute. If it wasn't uh, posted at that point, obviously it was processing before that. So, you know, it should be something eBay should have been able to provide for me in a timely manner. That's one of the things the state cites it in a timely manner. And eBay hasn't provided me with any of that. I doubt that the, the VP at eBay or the exec will ever contact me about it. He said he'd pass it on, but I have no faith in anybody at eBay these days. You know, they just over and over again prove that they, they don't do what they say. All these people said they were going to call back. The supervisor was going to call back. No one called back. You know, they, they even run, run reports on your account and don't even tell you you're, they're running on them. So these things show up in my email. You ran this report, you know, yesterday at such and such. I'm like, no, I didn't. They just ran them. They didn't even contact me to tell me, that, hey, you might see this stuff popping up in your mailbox. Again, there's no communication. There's no transparency at eBay with the sellers. They just don't care. You, anybody else would treat you better. Anybody else would give you the information you asked for. You know, rant, rave, doom and gloom, whatever you want to call what I'm saying. That, take it any way you want. But, you know, the minute someone takes money that you know you can't use out of your account, you see how you feel. I gave them the benefit of the doubt up until then. That's why it POs me to no, ex no extent. I'm just, uh, it, it's bothersome. But anyway, let me get this off here. I, I found a TV series that I liked. I know, let's veer off for just a second here. I, I was a Star Wars fan as a kid. And we'll talk about this only because it relates to a lot of what people like, too. So as a kid, I loved the first three Star Wars up until 83 when Jedi came out. I didn't like any of the new ones. We took our, my, my youngest son's first movie he ever saw was the new Star Wars. We took him out, we rented a booth at this theater and you know, glass. So we, he was young, you wouldn't bother anybody if he ran around and all that. I couldn't get into the new ones. I got into the new Star Trek. What's his name? I think Chris Pine's in the new Star Trek, the three new ones. I like all those. Last one's not as good. Picard. The first two seasons, they'd just been pittering around. And now the this third season of Picard, really good. I was really impressed. I know I'm off on a tangent now. But I'm going to watch the episode. I already watched this morning a second time after the show. Because I was really impressed with all the scenes with Picard and Riker. The wharf scene was awesome. Anyway, I've, I've never even seen all of Star Trek Next Generation, personally. We were, I was, you know, just met my wife, and we weren't married, and we were dating, having a lot of fun, hanging out, working at Disney, and all that kind of stuff. So I've watched, like, the first four seasons or something, and some episodes here. I watched all the Borg episodes. Good show. Couldn't get into it anymore. It's kind of corny. But the, the this season of Picard, I wish they would have done that for the whole three seasons of Picard with all the Next Generation. It was really uh, refreshing. It's... Uh, people talk, well, haven't you watched Mandalorian? I can't get into the Star Wars because it's all Jar Jar Binks is all I can ever think about. It's just, anyway, I, I think they've Disney has ruined the franchise in my mind. 
Star Trek, I'm still impressed with only this. I haven't watched Voyager. I haven't watched Deep Space Nine ever, any of that stuff. The Ferengi, I don't know. I've never seen any of those episodes. Uh, I don't Discovery or whatever they are that's on right now. I don't know any of those. I haven't watched any of those shows. But the, this, this, these two episodes of, of Picard are the best new Star Trek television series I've personally seen. Just these two episodes. First two seasons, uh... But I wish they would have done it. They just wasted all that time. I know I'm ranting, Raven. You probably hate the show half the folks out there, but I'm I'm so impressed with with you know compared to all the rest of the crap I see out there. Barely any sales feels like eBay is punishing me for not promoting anymore. Only promoted sales from older items get triple charged for one label. See, I've heard that too. We've we've been double charged a couple times in in, in the past, and they were for eBay specific labels. It was like fourteen dollars double charge, so twenty eight dollars overall and just one of the pay cycles um i i always tell everybody and they they say oh you don't have to look over your bill that closely but yeah you do some people say well is it worth you know spending two hours three hours looking over your bill to save 20 bucks well you know if if they think they can get away with it for all we know maybe it's intentional it's always on your behalf. You have to find the issue and report it to them. They'll never come to you and say, this has been happening, that's been happening. Hey, you know, that's it. RD Sales, thank you very kindly for that $5 super chat. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. I would report it. I would. I don't use uh, eBay for business on Facebook at all since they required us to go to another site just to verify who we are. I didn't trust it. Even their own page said, don't give out information, but that's what they were asking for. So I, I ditched that. You know, I, I again, if there's a glitch, unless it costs me money, I don't even report them anymore. Because by a, a couple days, I can wait, and it's usually fixed. It's just not worth the hassle. Unless I get charged, then I report it. Because I don't, I hate talking to eBay. It's, it's always your fault, no matter what it seems. 80, 85 percent of the time, they blame us, the sellers, for whatever the issue is, even if it's a glitch. But again, I'm, I'm ranting and raving. I don't like to do that. I'm on a very good high, uh, you know, a, a, a non, you know, uh, a substance high, just from life in general, from all the things going on at these days. You know, big move coming up, the building and all that stuff. Again, not trying to push on that, but reselling. Reselling has, has helped us out immensely. Reselling is all I do, and it, it makes us more than I used to make as a regional manager for a national company handling three states. And I made pretty good money. You know, I start my salary was was six digits. Plus, I got bonuses. So, you know, back in the day, let's see who's in the house. I probably can't see everybody because once we get past a certain point, my feed is locked up at the top there, so I can't see it. So you might have to give me a minute. Hey, Murray, how you doing? Murray Zuckerman in the house. Antiquarian Bookman, seventy nine degrees in Okefenokee Swamp in Georgia. Lurkin Carroll, how are you doing? Jackie Jack, how's Jackie Jack doing this evening? Hey, Linda, good to see you in as well. Mr. Lowe, hey, Charles, how are you doing this evening? Southern Indiana, so it's probably warm where you're at. I don't know, Michigan had a big storm, apparently. I don't I don't watch the news at all. I don't, I'm, I'm just turned, I'm done with the news. It's always something just annoying, and, and anyway, I'm done with the news, too. I don't watch any news channel anymore. Uh, I just look at the headlines and whatever the headlines are. That's about all I see anymore. It's just not worth my time or my brain power. Uh, relax and resell. How are you doing? This has been uh, my worst eBay sales week in over two years. There's a gap right now. What I would say is this happens every year. You've got the time after uh, Valentine's Day. People saved up. They spent some money. The the month is shorter. So you've got to have your bills done ahead of time. So at the end of February, there's always a gap of like a week where it's not as good as it is the week before or the week after. That's that's my personal experience with it. I don't panic if it's a week here, a week there, ever. Um, it, it, it's possible it's your worst. It, it's, I'm not saying it's not at all, but there's there's a pattern of this type of thing. Well, a couple days after you know the first, everybody's paid their bills. That next Friday, the Friday after the first is usually a pretty good Friday. You know, and then from there on, it goes back to a normal is usually what I see. Again, I can't say what everybody else does, but we track our information on sales for, geez, I've got, I don't know, more than a decade of it sitting here. So I look at that. It's sometimes, you know, the, the day of the weeks fluctuate and things like that. So you can't go by date. You, you just basically plot it on a calendar and 
you can overlay, you know, one year over the other. You know, eBay gives you some figures year over last sales and all that kind of crap too. But, you know, that that's the type of thing that I look at. I expect it to be slow certain times of the year. Um, like the, the Friday after Thanksgiving is usually slow online because a lot of people it used to be. It's not quite as bad, but it used to be really bad because everybody had to go to the stores to get that two-hour sale price TV set for $20 off or whatever it is. You know, on Black Friday. Um, you know, it's just my personal thoughts and experience on that. Kiki rocks you. Good evening, good evening. Fabulous flamingos. That's a nice one. I run amok. Welcome, welcome. Do page picker. How are you doing, Eric Tiki? Twenty three in Kansas. Sound good. Thank you, Matt Jakey. I didn't look at this time. I just went right into talking today. I, w I would have felt really stupid if I didn't have the sound on, which I've done before. You know, it's kind of hard to think of everything at the last minute. I, my, my day is like nonstop. From, I'm, my legs, I can't, I've got, I guess you'd call it restless leg syndrome. I can't just sit still. I'm always bopping around and moving. So sometimes it's really hard to sit still. Uh, I, I did not get a refund. I think I discussed that already. I did not technically get a refund. They did give me credit, but they didn't give me the money technically back. I got the money back a week later on my routine deposit, hopefully. Again, I'm not 100% sure they didn't rip me off for 800 bucks. I don't totally feel comfortable about the explanation, which there wasn't one, or a breakdown on the situation on my account. I've pulled up the reports that they printed. All they're looking at is whether a fee was dropped onto my account. They're not looking if there was another error or glitch tied to that charge card bill or the, 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 the money they actually took from us, physically took money from us. I know there's other YouTubers and resellers you know, making some comments that he only had so many, but again, I had money taken. I haven't seen anybody else come out there and tell me their money was physically taken out of their bank account like it was for us. That's the difference. Uh, hang on, I'm, I can't even remember where I was at now. Ra uh, Ralph Funk, good evening. Matt Jake, Philly reseller, welcome. David from Philadelphia. I've been through Philadelphia many times. Uh, Jen T, welcome. Fartsack Jack, welcome, welcome. Joe Samard, welcome. Hey, Joe, how are you doing? And I've got Marty right down below, another YouTuber in-house. So it's sale on Sunday. I'm heading up to Rhode Island tomorrow morning for a Beatle show. Well, congratulations. You have to share a link with me again. I've seen a few of Marty's things online, and he shared some conversations with some, what I would say are famous musicians. Maybe some other younger folks may not appreciate it, but I like a lot of the older music, truthfully. Thank you, Kelly. I appreciate that as well. It was a very good feeling to actually close on the house. Um, you'll see uh, those in Patreon and in the memberships, there's a walkthrough video. And if I didn't put it up on the membership page, I'll do it within the next day. Oh, um, before I forget to, there's already videos uploaded for Patreon and YouTube membership. They will be up right after the show. I mean, momentarily after the show. Um, I'm going to answer some emails. The rest of them I'll get to in the morning. I've been up since about 540 this morning. I was at a storage unit this morning looking at something, um, potential purchase. And again, I don't really want to purchase anything now, but there's some, some, some deals out there to be had right this minute. There's eBayers who can't, aren't, aren't going to be doing it anymore, and we've got some potential to buy some other inventories right now. And since I have the space here very, very soon, uh, we're, we're looking into a couple bigger purchases, honestly, right now. Not what I would have planned on, but we held off on these any big purchases until after the, the closing, again, as what our, our realtor as well as the bank told us, don't do any big moves, don't buy any or apply or do anything else that's going to have any draws in your account, which is what we, we held to. So I, I missed a bunch of purchases, so we are going to potentially buy something. And I might do a video on that. I've got permission if I want to bring a camera when I go check out what it is. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to holler this one out or not yet. Um, but congrats there, Jimmy. Have a safe, safe, Marty. I, I'm still looking at the name. Have a safe trip up to Rhode Island. Um, Pelham Profits, good evening as well. Hey, Dace, how are you doing? Uh, we got the Who Do You Trust More. Hey, Mr. Hale, how are you doing, Bob? Good to see you in house. You can trust me. That's exactly how I feel. I felt like eBay was placating me. They were just talk it was all talk it was all uh, a corporate 
PR speak. We're, we got to work as a team and all this other stuff. And, you know, I've never been on a team where someone didn't listen to the other members and then ripped them off and wouldn't even go into explaining, explaining what happened. I did, I, that's not a team. That's a mobster in charge of my money that decided what they wanted to do with it. And they're going to give it back to me whenever they feel like it. That's how I felt. I felt like I was a strong arm to give them a free loan with no interest. Well, I lost the use of money at that point. Again, it's not going to make or break us at all, even for just a, a day or a week or whatever. I don't, you know, it, 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 it's the principle. I'm a very principled person, uh, personally, you know. Uh, I, I, I write for Ina at iCommerce Bytes, and I know somebody's mentioned that. I'm going to have to look that up as soon as I'm off here, too, because... Anyway, I talk to her about some things like that related to I don't pry in it, and I don't ask any any personal questions that are over the line. But um, I've always felt that that situation, they're nice folks. So if they did get $64 million, if that's the end result, in fact, I, I, I almost have to list, look that up right now. Maybe that's not true. Uh, settlements. Let's just look that up. Uh, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not going to see it here. eBay failed to settle suit lawsuit. There's another. I don't know. I will have to look that up later. I don't know what the end result is. Just interesting that it got that far. I don't. Let me get back off topic again. Hey, Bob. Hopefully you're doing well on your end. Dave, Midwest picker, another YouTuber in house. How are you doing, Dave? Sarah Stubbs, document everything. Write it all down. Get names. Yeah, I've got most all of it down. They've got a recording of the conversation. If if they're okay with the supervisor lying to me or just totally not listening to even a simple request, just to look at one simple line on on my bill, I, again that's just re that's awful, that's just disrespectful to my intelligence. Um, Space Lord eBay sellers need a union. Can't do it. We've been mistreated for years, definitely. But there's you can't do anything. You can't form a union. You can't class action. The the user agreement states that right plainly in there. Again, I had lawyers reach out to me. You know, there are some opportunities for, for legal actions, depending on state laws and stuff like that. But, you know, I, I don't I'm not a person just to go sue for money. I, I would rather have it admitted an apology and fix it than anything else. I'm not going to I don't I don't go after damages and crap like that. I could have went after Republic Services for six grand. And I would have won, but it's not worth my time hassle. And I'd rather have earned the money as opposed to tying up court and having to appear in court and all the other BS that goes with it. It's just, it's me. It's my personal opinion. Uh, yeah, uh, uncircumcised uh, Andy. It was so much easier just using PayPal. I still use PayPal, but, you know, I, I don't use it for eBay, obviously. It still funds part of my eBay stuff. It's my backup source. That way, my, my bank account isn't directly hooked to eBay. But again, I, we get paid on, on other from other, other revenue sources into my PayPal account. Hip for one always goes into PayPal. You get paid individually from the buyer directly to your PayPal account for every sale you make on there. So my account builds up, but we only keep so much in there at a certain time. I never, I, I, don't, I don't try to trust anybody. eBay again, it does it on a weekly basis. Sometimes there's, you know, thousands of dollars in there over that week time, three, four, five, six thousand dollars. I keep it there just because I'm not going to change it for one time because there's a little extra money or something in there. PayPal, I leave a thousand in there. It gets transferred to our personal bank account. Again, it's it's a backup source, the bank account. You've got to have backup sources. If somebody said, well, just cancel it and stop it and do this and do that. If I void or, or investigate it and, and eBay loses it, I could be in violation of the user agreement and eBay could shut you down. I don't want to get shut down because I'm, I'm not going through the proper procedure or following eBay's steps for getting the money back. You know, I'm not going to go overboard and, and do something stupid that would jeopardize my end of the deal. I'm not going to violate eBay's contract, even though they do it constantly. You know, just because someone else does does something bad doesn't mean I should do something bad. You know, I'm uh, that's just not me. I, 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 I'm the principle, the aspect. You do it right and just be done with it. Just because they're idiots not honest with us doesn't mean we should do the same thing to them. You know, I'm just not going to preach, you know, to trust them anymore because I can't. You know, in the past I've said do it, but, you know, I, I, I would cringe at the thought now, you know. You, you try to give eBay the benefit of the doubt. You try to do it, but it's not going to always work that way. Um, I run amok. EFB, I'm sure you're eBay, or is that something else? 
Uh, let's see here. Imagine all the people who missed this and don't even know they were ripped off. Again, that it's always on the seller to figure out that they have extra charges on their account. eBay doesn't go back in and figure out that you have extra charges because it was an error. It's up to you to find them. So if, if you don't find them, they just keep the money. And I wouldn't doubt, I haven't went back and looked because we look at ours, but some, there's sometimes there's clauses in some of these business contracts and website contracts that if you don't find the error in a certain length of time, you can't claim the money later on. So if they've got a 90-day error you know, recovery option or something where the user agreements, they, I'll have to go back and look, but that's usually what it is. So if it goes beyond that 90 days, you miss the error, it's on you. They don't have to come back and give you money after 90 days. You've got a, a certain time frame, a certain window. Just like if you're running, if you've got like an anchor store to drop down. We did drop down from an anchor store. I gave up my anchor store finally. I just said, screw it. They're, they're, they're not being the, the fair practical player. I don't need it right now. It's not worth it. We held on to it for almost two years after we really didn't have to. But uh, we dropped it. I, I, you know, whatever. Why, why spend extra couple hundred dollars a month on eBay for, for the phone calls and, and the other little aspects of it just to, at the end of the day, them still give you bad answers or not answer you at all or never return your phone call you know this is the worst experience i've had on ebay honestly this one right here i haven't told them that no one cared no one's called no one's interjected I, again i was gonna do a video attention ebay or something but i i gave up on that even idea that they would ever even care anymore these days full steam ahead the way it is they're done they don't care your money we keep it for a week we keep it for three days who cares it's it's not your problem it's not our problem either you'll get it back sometime maybe we may take care of it correctly. We surely won't show you whether we did or didn't, but they're pulling uh, some crap on me, charging me insertion fees when I have lots of free left and on the same items on the 15th and again on the 1st. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. There's, you, there, the, the bills are a mess. I if, if I only have to look at the bills to figure out the totals, they work just fine because I am a, a Excel spreadsheet person. If you gotta go in and figure out some other stuff, not so simple. You can't figure out the time frames on the download sheets or anything else like that. If I have to figure out when a, a post, you know, when a charge was made on a spreadsheet, they're not in order. Even if I order them by, you know, uh, date wise or, or by column or row myself, it, the, the information just anyway, it, it's it's a, a cluster F. That's all I'll say. Again, I'm, I can get the, the information for my financials at the end of the month, at the end of the week, but I, it's, it's impossible to get the balance aspect like you would from a bank. You know, it's taken them this long just to get some of the reports that still aren't very helpful, which is, again, sad. Yeah, I technically didn't really get my money back, I'll say. I don't know. I'm, I'm still not sure if they owe me money. I, I, I'm 100% not sure. Uh, do page. I'm. I know it's kind of hard to bounce around here. Um, four years later, managed payments is not better than PayPal, and no longer saving money versus PayPal. Plus, working capital loan was better than eBay's loans. Do page picker. Yeah. I, at this point, it, the whole point of getting us on managed payments is it would be cheaper. It would be all one lump sum. It's it's not cheaper. They, again, we we knew they were going to just raise the fees to bring it back to what they did. I'll give them credit. When they first switched over, we saved immediately like $13,000 or so in fees. How do we do that? Because we weren't paying an extra five cents for every listing over our initial quantity. When They, they gave us the ZIFs, the zero insertion fees. And that's what gave us a thousand plus dollars every single month of the year for free back. Money I wasn't spending anymore that I used to have to spend. Our bill at eBay used to be... Just for listing fees, it used to be like 2400 or something. It was a lot. And that was with an anchor store because they didn't have the top-level store back then either. That's why we got a second and a third eBay store. Because if you you only had to list, each store you could list 10,000 items in, and you wouldn't pay extra, that extra five cents. It all adds up. you know. So that saved us money back in the day. Dan Sweep, sounds like they're short on funds. Who knows? I know they've laid off or let go like four or five hundred coders and people at eBay right now. That doesn't give you much confidence. The The numbers come out if they haven't already. Again, the, the fourth quarter numbers, I haven't looked at them. The, they, the, the results I heard preliminary said they, they beat the, their, their recommendations or something. But that's just a guesstimate. They're still going to be down. 
you know, I, the, the Wall Street always makes it all rosy and cheery, like everything's just great, you know. But if you look at the numbers deeply and look at the trends, you know, the, the downward spiral, it, it's not all rosy. It's, it's not, you know, sunshine and flowers out there for eBay at all. Yeah, I know some of the other sites are having issues here and there and stuff like that, but it's, it's life returning to semi-normal. eBay was given a gift, a gift of massive sales because people were staying home, and they blew it. Amazon, to some extent, did too. They both figured it was going to stay like that forever. That's it. That's it. That's what I see it as. Amazon did the same thing. Not as bad as eBay, but eBay just assumes it's going to be there. And I think they're making the same mistakes with the high-end authentication crap and the vault and all that stuff. I see potential for those those areas to crash, meaning the value of those those categories could be really you know diminished by 50% possibly. Cards go up and down every 10, 15, 20 years. There was a crash in the 90s when they flooded them with comic ball cards and all that. I remember it. You couldn't give those things away. I could buy cases of those back in the day. That's why I'm so shocked that Marvel Universe is still holding. Again, that's why I, that's going to crash at some point. There's, there's no way all those purses, tennis shoes and stuff... At some point, those prices are going to be like crazy. The, the markets don't always, they rotate. They go up and down all the time. You can't bank on one of those to, to do that. Uh, let's see here. Bubbly Waters, welcome. Uh, Gravity Goods, Cameroon, how are you doing? Thank you, Mia Seacrest. Uh, Carol Poulter. What scares me is that if you, as a big a reseller as you are, is not given white glove service, what is in store for the little resellers like us? I, I'm not asking for special service, to be honest with you. I, I kept anchor store support because of this the calls. You, you could get you know, U.S. support. I'm, I still got it this last time. Maybe they haven't pulled me out of the system or something because it just ended my anchor store the, this month. It was on the, the beginning of February. It was my year anniversary. That's when I first signed up for the Anchor Store way back when. So who knows? But but the, the, the point is that I don't want special service. I just think eBay should be able to give you an explanation in a specific total at a specific, you know, at a time so they can prove what, what's going on. I don't think that's too much to ask for. I would expect the bank to be able to give it to me, and I can guarantee you the bank would give it to me. I've asked for breakdowns and went down and got printouts and stuff, and it gives you a, a time frame and an order, and you can see totals all the way down. It, it's you know it, it's instantaneously keeping track, and I can look at past history, and it shows dates and times and everything else, you know. And then same thing, PayPal. I can get printouts from PayPal. It's been great. I've never have been screwed over by PayPal itself. I've had you know money taken through a PayPal card or something, but I don't hold that against PayPal itself because they they instantly took care of it. They instantly put the money back in. That was a fraudulent charge what eBay took. If, if it was a PayPal charge, or if it was a eBay charge of that amount to my PayPal account, I could have reported it as fraudulent, and they would have instantly given me the money in my account as provisional. That's what the bank would have done, too. eBay, oh, we don't know. We're going to have to figure it out. It's going to take us a day and a half just to listen to what you got to say and then actually pay attention, and then we'll see about giving you credit. Because it took, again, multiple calls just for them to give me the credit. You know, and again, this is this is this is a thousand plus in, in, in charges as well as eight hundred dollars in money taken, stolen from my bank account. So you know, that's I, that's just how I see it. If you don't see the overcharged shipping labels within five days, you don't get it. I would not say that's correct. I would wait to the end of the month. I would not trust on eBay any of those. Uh. Hey, Artie, Mike, I see you in-house there. How you doing, Mike? Again, as soon as the show's over here, and I'm going to end it in just a few minutes, a few minutes early today, because I've had a real busy day. You know, we're toting up and everything's going in there. I'm not bringing, you know, cardboard. We're going to have to do some work on the building to close up the barn doors. Uh, that's the first thing we're going to do. I don't know if we're going to epoxy coat. There's a new thing, the, the whole bottom floor in there. We might do that before we move into. It's like 1500 but I think it's probably worth it in the long run. You know, to seal it all up and everything. Imagine, Space Lord, imagine if you got uh, 10,000 listings that got hit. I know people who did have that much and more that got hit, but they didn't take the money out of their bank account. I had I had pending money, so there's probably enough. At, when I first saw it, there was over the amount that was processing, then there was charges, but yet they still took the money from my bank account. 
That's that's the problem that I have. There's no explanation. There's there's not a shred of transparency from eBay's side whatsoever. It's a total lack of concern for the fact that again, if I was a small seller, let's say you had the busiest week of your your month. It's the end of the month. eBay makes a mistake and wrongly charges you and collects those fees from your account personally, and now you don't have money to pay your rent. What's going to happen? You get the money back two days after rent's due, and now you've got a late fee. Is eBay going to give you the late fee back? They didn't give you the money back immediately. Are you going to trust that they're going to give you the late fee back? I asked them, too, because I somebody called me crying. She, she's she's a single parent. I do have contact. People talk to me, you know, because I've, I've been on the bottom rung. I, I know what it's like to not have money in your paycheck to paycheck or less, you know, writing money you don't really have. And... um. Anyway, she had charges. She was told by eBay that that was your fault. She was totally losing it. I mean, and I, I can't blame her because she was worried she's not going to be able to pay her bills. How's she going to feed the kids? What comes first, electricity in the winter or paying the rent or getting food? You know, how, how would she have gotten the money back if those charges actually came out of her bank? She was lucky. They, they finally, after like the third or fourth call, addressed the issue she had to wait a couple days to get it back too. She had to, she did the immediate uh, thing apparently, or was it? Maybe I'm getting two different people confused. Maybe that's it. I've talked to a lot of people, but the, the whole point of it is it's not a quick fix. There, there's no accountability. There's no transparency. They don't seem to care. Again, let me. I keep talking about the same topic. Uh, let's talk about something else here. Let's see here. Is this how they treat you as a big? Seller who represents eBay feels like you are being used. Sarah shocks. Now I don't represent eBay anymore these days. I never rep I never did anything with eBay. I never did anything on eBay's behalf that I wouldn't have done without eBay. And I've never had any connections with eBay at all either. I've never been paid. I've never promoted eBay. I've never been any official anything with eBay. On the contrary, I'm I'm sure that they despise some of my videos. I've had People call the house from eBay. I've had video conferences a couple years back when I wasn't very big with, again, the executive actually that I talked to or I messaged out to through LinkedIn uh, about this specific issue. So, I mean, I've talked to a few. I know who some are. I've had um, head of seller support, several different ones reach out to me in the past. It's usually over something that they did wrong, that they're trying to smooth over is all. You know, anyway. I, I don't want anything extra either, as I said. I, I just think they should treat everybody the same and be done with it. Big, smaller, and different. And I know that there's eBay resellers who they have special access to all kinds of things. I'm not going to mention. There's a lady who tied in. There's a couple other ones. I, I've refused eBay to ever come on my channel. I, I've turned them down when I can't think of that Marnie or something like that. She was on all kinds of channels. They they reached out to me then, and I refused to have her on. I said I wouldn't have anybody from years on because all they're going to do is preach PR statements. Oh, that person was a PR rep. That's all she was. You know, and I don't, I don't, I don't go for that. If if somebody who's real, like a department head, wants to come on, not in PR, like head of seller support, I might have treated it differently. But when they're going to send me some PR person that's just going to give the rosy cheek side of everything, the the you know sunshine and and rainbows issues, I'm I'm just going to ignore that. Uh, in connection with the government matters and civil action described above, the company to date has accrued for. Probable losses of approximately sixty-four million in the aggregate. Yeah, but that could be for a bunch of them. Maybe it's hard to say on that one. I'll have to look that up. That you could be right, Mike. I, I again, I haven't even looked it up. It could be more. Well, thank you, Bubbly Waters. I thought it was a huge issue. Some other YouTubers mocked and said some sent some mocking, uh, insulting comments to me for even discussing the issue on there, but. You know, I'm sure they would have been the first ones to make a video to get views or whatever they wanted off of it if they lost $800. You know, I don't really give a hoot about views. If I did, I'd be getting a lot more views. What's your options on Morgan Dollar Coins and eBay auction or buy it now better? I can't do auctions on eBay right now until I get an auctioneering license according to the state of Ohio. So FYI, that's the other issue that's going on now. I would be in violation of the law if I auctioned something, whether it's an online um, uh, platform like eBay or not. You have to have an auctioneer license in the state it states. 
and I called the state. I'm not just guessing on what the law means. I physically called the uh, Bureau of Farming here in the state who handles all auctions. It all goes to the state's Farming Bureau. Uh, another problem is there are now withholding payment for extra long periods when an item sells. Yeah, I, I haven't seen that space lord personally. Again, I, mine sits for a week. I think most money processes in 24 to 48 hours in our account typically. A credit takes 24 to 48 hours to, to process. So even if eBay gave me the credit immediately, which they didn't, it was almost like most of a day later, it would have still taken a, a two days, three days to get the money back, even if I pushed it and gave them more information. Um... Peddling profits. Well, thank you very kindly. New beginnings are always exciting. Having more room for your business is a plus. To be honest with you, the, the, room, the room aspect is the biggest aspect of this whole entire thing. We looked at houses that were that would have needed to be gutted, and we were fine with doing that. We, we could have afforded it. It wasn't the, the, the issue on the money, but the building had to be right. We saw one that was fabulous. I would have loved to have it, but the bidding war on that one went way over. It would have cost an extra hundred thousand for just just to get the building. It's not had to gut the house, but the space, the space, our building, our, our business is locked because of space right now. I have to go to a storage storage facility, which is my father's old workshop. I don't have to pay for it because my mom owns the property and everything. But I still have to go and transfer. It, it, it's a nuisance. It's 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 a god awful nuisance. I'm still going to use that. But all the essentials will be in the big building. I've got display cabinets and all kinds of stuff that I always wished we could have for the last years. So it, it is a big move. The building is the whole aspect, and the space is the most important aspect of it. The house, we could have settled for, we looked at, geez, I don't, nine months worth of looking for a house with property. For every hundred houses that were listed, there was maybe one that suited our needs with land. We had to have some acreage. A building that was usable with a concrete floor, airtight, you know, with with the proper uh, breaker panel. We I needed some juice out there. I wanted to make sure it has everything special. We're gonna have this. We're having sewer and water run out to the building. It's gonna have central air and heat. We've already priced it all. Sewage is going in when they put the new septic in. Again, the, the seller is Bob has had to sink thirty three thousand dollars into an escrow account for this property out of the money that we paid out of our down payment went to that out of his money because the, we weren't going to sign off on this until the money was there the bill the, the estimate was twenty two thousand he had to do one and a half times that is the, the what we figured out and we're in control of that money until it's done so anyway we're going to have we're going to spend out of our money now having the sewage connected up to the building and you know bathroom shower the sink system and the whole works over there too uh, again because it's i want it to be fully contained business entity uh, which is the best bet it's all business expense too any improvements i do i can amortize over five years and on and on and on or is it three years now it's three or five years you know i've looked into all this financially i've looked into it tax wise again because this is all business expense it's stuff that i wouldn't have to do even the property and all that kind of stuff in it to, to be honest with you, I, if you if you run your own business, there's so many breaks you get as a business owner for all this kind of stuff. I could get some financial help for free without having to pay it back for improvements in some cases through the small bi uh, business administration here locally. You know, look into what you can get. I'm not going to abuse anything. I wouldn't file anything wrong. I don't take any of the PP or whatever the money. I haven't done any of that stuff. And I'm, I'm only doing what's what's appropriate. So anyway. Oh, uh, I have a 102 to move in the next year. Uh, 105 with eBay 10K. I'm not sure what that is. I set up an isolated account. Hey, Leland Langford, how are you doing this evening? Hopefully you and Cindy are doing well. With a limited funds, its only function is handling eBay. The account is not connected to any other account. There is enough to handle eBay, normal functions, and no more. If it goes over the functions and your 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 account isn't enough to process, they could suspend your, your ability to list or do anything else on eBay. I'm just going to give you that warning. I've had somebody else tell me that when we were going over this. And I said, nah, that's probably not, not correct. But then I had multiple other people tell me the same thing. And none of these people knew each other. So if, if that's not true... I would be shocked. So you got to be careful with that. You don't want to get yourself into an ordeal where 
where um, you're denying eBay fees, you know, the funds. Even if they screw up and rip you off, you still have to do your end, and your end means that you've got to cover the costs and you can't go past the deadline date of it. So if they process a payment and you don't catch it after two, they could shut you down temporarily or suspend your services for a certain length of time. I'm, I'm almost sure it says that almost word for word in the uh, user agreement. Uh-oh, 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 hang on. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. I know you're going to play hard to get. You're going to play hard to get. This, again, Jack, this is our rescue dog. Okay, Jack. Okay, okay. This is Jack. We saved him. He was a return dog. I know most people don't care about dogs, but I'm a big dog lover. And this guy's just a little puppy. He's a little baby. He's an adorable little guy. Yes, I know. I know. I know. He actually sleeps in the bed with us, believe it or not. Go on. Go see Mom. I don't know where Mom went to, but he's running around down here somewhere. And we got two rescue dogs. That's Jackie Jackster there. Uh, let's pop over. I'm going to end it in just a minute. I, I said I would end it after an hour, and I've already went past that. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, interest. Hey, Ross. Uh, Hammond, how are you doing? Yeah, I would go back and watch it. I'm not going to rehash the whole thing, but Bubbly Waters. Plus, you lose the interest. That was the aspect I had. I like PayPal. Always have. PayPal's I swear to you, PayPal has never done me wrong in all of these years. I cannot think of a single solitary issue where PayPal didn't have my back. I don't think with eBay, I can't think of an issue when they did have my back. You know, there's very rare occasions. Even when you quote and you're following the rules or like like a, if you have a private 30 day return policy, I've seen a dozen cases just in the last month or so where eBay forced people to take stuff back past their 30 days. I've seen cases where the, the seller said, you know, obviously you have to return the item the way it was sent to you, where they can prove it. Even the seller or the person who bought it said, hey, well, we opened it or this or that. eBay still forced them to give them a free refund. That's, uh, they don't have our back. Anyway. Let's see. Busy girl, I don't trust them either. No, I don't. Uh, yeah, I'm terrible. I hit the like button. I've got 200 and what, 62 people in house right now. Got 110 thumbs up. Please slam that thumbs up if you're enjoying the conversation. Uh, let's see where we at. New to you provisions. Welcome. Steve PB, how are you doing to this this evening? Steve, eBay and erroneous charges are no surprise. eBay, people lying. This, again, is a familiar pattern. Aside from eBay, I hope you and your family are well and moving forward to your new home. Yeah, we're, we're again, I've got bins. I forgot I had to take somebody and drop somebody off um, just a little while ago. I forgot I've got a whole bunch of big, giant totes sitting in the back. I just bought new ones. Every one they had at the store, the big size and stuff. Everything's going over in plastic totes. By the time we figure, by the time you know he's out with his stuff in there, we're hoping within another say 12 days or so. He said he'd be done early, so I'll be. I'm hoping on that. We'll have everything ready, I'll have everything marked, and I can just shelf it. So we'll have shelves put up over there first. So we'll have places to put everything. And then we'll break down shelves, and then we'll bring more merchandise over, and then we'll be able to put all the shelves up that way. Um, Again, some stuff isn't going to the new building. Some stuff is going other places. I think the biggest, most exciting aspect of this, besides the space itself, is the fact that no more will I ever have to have any eBay stuff or business stuff ever again in the house that we live in. And I don't, I, I, that's the biggest, coolest factor of this that you, it's hard to separate business from personal when everything is in the same building i know we've got it separated by space and all that kind of stuff too but when it's all crammed together even if you've got storage there's there's always that aspect where, where you're taking stuff home to you and you, I, I, again I, i'll be able to separate that i won't have to look at ebay stuff i won't have to have it in the house i can still you know i have laptops all over but the, the point is i won't have to keep stuff i won't have to occupy the kitchen I've got a cart on order like I used to use in the food service, the Rubbermaid carts and stuff. It'll be all set up with everything we need. And, and again, uh, still need some work. It'll be a work in progress for a few months until summer. Um, again, it, it's going to be a full-fledged building. There's going to be a divisional wall added up in there, too. And I'll have my personal office area in the back 
where my art studio will be and stuff. I'll still, you'll still get to see a lot of stuff. Those in Patreon, as I said, you'll get to see a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. You'll get to see when we start pulling out, you know, some of our, our long held collectibles that are going to be in, in the backgrounds on the, the Jose Bank shelving units that we got. Um, I think, I think most people have seen that. We got those massive shelving units. It's like 30 long feet of professionally made heavyweight, massive, massive shelves that we paid 300 bucks for. Killer deal. In fact, I got the the manager, uh, the property manager's personal information. So anytime they got something, they closed down here. Um, I think it's called. It was called Rocket Johnny's. I think it was called, and it was like a a 50 style diner. And I miss getting the booth. I wanted a booth, a whole set of booths out of there. And I'd love to have had that, but anyway, I missed it. You know, I didn't realize or think about it till the last minute. We're trying to find a a restaurant booth from like a defunct restaurant right now to put into our building just for like lunch and stuff. But anyway, I'm going to probably let it go at that here. Um, yeah, it's about 20 past the hour. I'm going to let it go here. I'm sorry. I don't want to just yank it off on this on the last shot, but it's been a real long day here and uh, we've got many more to go until we're moved. Again, I may not have another live show next week or the week after until we're moved in uh, at this point, just because of time constraints and everything else. I will still have a video if I don't have a live, and the video will be posted to go active at 7 if I'm not live. For those in Patreon, if you give me like 10 minutes, I will have your video up tonight, the first part of the, the, the topic we discussed. And the same thing goes for YouTube membership. I will have it up. They're both uploaded. They're just sitting there. All I got to do is share the link and change the status on them, and they will be up, ready to go. The second part to the videos will be up this weekend, and I'm hoping to get up... Um, the responses to some item images that were posted for those in Patreon on the community tab still this weekend as well, too. I've got a multi-part video coming up for Patreon and a multi-part video coming up for uh, YouTube membership uh, for those in there. Um, again, I, I've got videos to at least two a week on both of those channels, so they're long videos, so it equates to two or three of these, uh, my normal style videos. But... Anyway, I'm going to let you all go. I do appreciate everybody coming on. I do appreciate all the kind words and thanks. Uh, again, I'm still listing. I don't trust eBay. It, it's sad that that's the case, but we're still going forward with the same plans we had before this happened at this point. I just reached out to the state and wanted some clarification. We're going to go that route, and I'm just going to do the right thing and, and you know move on from here but anyway i do appreciate everybody coming on again one last time if you haven't slammed the thumbs up button please slam the thumbs up button